In previous videos, we saw that many carbonyl reactions take place by nucleophilic association at the carbonyl carbon, which has a partial positive charge. Aldehydes, ketones, and esters can also have reactions at the alpha carbon. This is the first carbon next to the carbonyl carbon. The reason these reactions can take place is due to the increased acidity of the hydrogen on the alpha carbon. If a carbonyl compound were to be in the presence of a base, the base could remove a hydrogen from the alpha carbon, and we would then have a carbanion. The negative charge on the carbon can then be delocalized onto the carbonyl oxygen. When we look at the acidity values of the hydrogen on the alpha carbon, we see that for aldehydes and ketones, the pKa will be between 16 and 20. However, if the alpha carbon is between two carbonyl groups, then it will be more acidic with a pKa of between 6 and 15. One kind of reaction that takes place at the alpha carbon of carbonyl compounds involves the reaction between two molecules of an aldehyde or ketone. This is known as an aldol addition, where the name aldol comes from the combination of the aldehyde and alcohol, since both are present in the product. Aldol additions form types of products that are known as beta-hydroxyaldehydes or beta-hydroxyketones. In aldol additions, one molecule will lose a hydrogen from the alpha carbon to create a nucleophile. This nucleophile will then form an association with a carbonyl carbon, which is partially positive charged, on a second molecule. In summary, this is a reaction between the alpha carbon of one molecule and the carbonyl carbon of the second molecule. In previous videos, we saw that alcohols can be dehydrated in the presence of heat in acidic conditions. This means that they would lose a hydrogen and a hydroxyl group to form a carbon-carbon double bond. Aldol addition products are even more easily dehydrated, since the result of the aldol dehydration will be a product that has conjugated double bonds. When we have these two processes in one combined step, the aldol addition followed by dehydration, we refer to this as an aldol condensation, which removes a small molecule, a hydrogen and a hydroxyl group, and it forms a new carbon-carbon double bond. The result is what's known as an alpha-beta unsaturated aldehyde. A Claisen condensation is a reaction between two ester molecules, which results in the formation of what's known as a beta-keto ester. As with aldol additions, one of the esters loses a hydrogen from its alpha carbon forming a nucleophile. This nucleophile then forms an association with the carbonyl carbon of a second ester molecule, forming the tetrahedral intermediate that we're used to seeing in nucleophilic acyl addition reactions. This tetrahedral intermediate will then lose the alkoxide group as a leaving group, reform the carbonyl carbon-oxygen double bond, and it will form the beta-keto ester. One more reaction involving the alpha carbon is known as decarboxylation. This takes place with carboxylic acids that also have a carbonyl group at the beta carbon, or the third carbon, including the carbonyl carbon of the carboxylic acid. When the carboxylic acid loses a proton, the negative charge can be delocalized onto the carbonyl oxygen of the beta carbon. We then have a CO2 or carbon dioxide group as a leaving group. Decarboxylation is usually done in the presence of heat, and if we have a little acid present at the end, we will form the ketone 
as a result of the decarboxylation of the carboxylic acid.